I call you the first the time? Positive. Ask me. currently getting ready um, to go to the hospital um, so my doctor made me um, he told me that I had to like shower with like a certain um, shampoo so I have to shower this before surgery and um, yeah. um, I'm nervous I don't know so many emotions right now um, yeah. See you guys soon. So we are pulling up to the hospital. You have to park somewhere in the. Um, it's gonna be more to the front or somewhere over here. So we just got here. It's about five. 30-ish a.m. So my stomach is twisted. I'm so tense. I couldn't really sleep. She couldn't really sleep. So we're about to check in. I guess her surgery is not till 9.30, but we're checking in earlier. I don't know why, but. So we just made it back inside. I think we're all checked in. Boys all checked in. She's rocking them glasses now. Um, she said to give her, her your ticket, the lady in administration, uh -huh. when you leave. She's gonna uh, validate your parking and everything. Well, I left it in the car. Well, then you should go get it and then validate it. Anyways, guys, I have a really bad tummy ache. <laughs> <laughs> but I feel like I have to get some Starbucks getting, to wake up. She's getting Starbucks and I can't even drink anything because. Oh, and I got a good sandwich. Wow. But look at how fancy this thing is. It has my picture on it. You probably can't see until it focuses, but... Yeah, it's cool. I think they scanned it off of your ID, but... How do you feel, boom? Um, right now... Hungry. I want some coffee. I'm tired. My eyes hurt. Oh, that's mine. Yeah, guys, so probably the next time you guys see me, I'll be out of surgery. I'm scared. I'm, like, really scared. So we are finally in the room. Both in got her gown all going on. <laughs> How do you feel? Um, like I'm getting a lipo. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, when I got my surgery done for my boobs, I was scared too, but I just remember waking up and I was fine. But this is different. No, it's kind of similar because, well, you're not going to get boobs in your head, but. <laughs> 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 but you're going to wake up feeling they better. I had to wear my glasses today because I usually wear contacts, but they want you not to wear contacts. All my jewelry is gone. My face is doing better, kind of. Mm-hmm. So, the day is here. How do you feel? I got the shits. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, but I... Hi, guys. So, we are here. They just put that V on me. kind of hurts. Why did you put it too tight? But that's besides the point. So, it is about... 6.30 now and basically they said that um, around 7.30 I'll be meeting all my surgeons which be like my ear surgeon my anesthesiologist my brain well I already know my brain doctor Dr. Porter shout out to you <laughs> I'm just trying to make it positive but I'm really scared um, they just told Leslie that she might be traumatized after she sees me for the first time <laughs> because I might be a little swollen on the face 
because I'll be this way. Oh, I think I'm gonna be this way, obviously, right? Mm -hmm. Like face down because since we're cutting back here, so right now when the doctors come in, we'll talk about where the sensation is and like recovery and like all of that. Unfortunately, my family can't come. Only one person a day can come see me. I'm guessing it will be Leslie every day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Leslie okay. don't want to let nobody else in. <laughs> it's so funny. But yeah, that's what the nurse said. <laughs> so we're back and we're gonna so show you where her sensation <laughs> and sensation is going to be. So he just came and showed us. So the guy that came, I can't remember his name. I think he said Scott. Yeah. So he definitely Scott marked her and put S B on her cheek. But the incision's gonna be back here, pretty much kind of right here where all these baby hairs are at. Sorry right here so we're going about right here the other lady scared me because she said that she was gonna come out super it swollen weird. with <laughs> i look like i'm about to give birth okay scratch that so the first lady said that she was gonna come out with super swollen face and maybe blood and i was gonna freak out and all this stuff but then i asked him because he's actually gonna be inside the, the surgery the whole time and he said no, she'll have a little bit of swelling, but nothing crazy. Uh, more than anything, her um, side effects after surgery are going to be just pretty much a little bit of pain, but more of a nausea type deal. So I'm kind of excited for that because I don't want to freak out. But um, he did assure that she would come out good and he would take good care of her. And I said, good, because I'm going to come back and haunt you. So. And then I wanted and then she wants to have in and out, but all she's been thinking about all morning is food. But wanna see you guys my outfit of the day. Today we are rocking. This is the brand St. Joe's. And it's like this. Okay. And she got the Nike socks. Got the Nike socks. <laughs> Wish us luck. All right, guys, so we're back. She just woke up from about a 30-minute nap. Um, I'm tired. She's been really tired. We woke up pretty early this morning. And we just had a quick checkup with That's her. That's my main doctor. With her main doctor. And it's about to be go time. Obviously, unfortunately, can't be nowhere in there. Just in the waiting room. As it will be updating me every two hours. So as I'm getting that feedback, I'll record and give you guys the feedback that I'm getting back from them and then just kind of bring you guys along and for sure bring you guys along when she comes back to her room right so peace thank mm -hmm. you guys she's about to go Like by myself and just kind of go 
a little crazy and just, you know, like, it's just, hospitals ain't my thing, like, there's something about them that really freaks me out, but, um, I do have one of her nurses, uh, keeping up with me, um, every hour as I will come back an hour before the surgery, that way I'm there to get a recap from everything that went on from her actual, um, surgeon, so, yeah, guys, so, I'm just glad that it's here, you know, the day is here, we get to kind of soon close this chapter after her recovery and just kind of move forward with with life um, and just keep pushing forward, but I'll check back with you guys as soon as I get back to see how everything went and um, yeah, right now I am just doing a quick update to her mom. I just got off the phone with her mom just to kind of let her know, you know, she, she was induced and in she, she's ready for surgery. So I'll keep them updated too, just, you know, kind of keep that knot out of everybody's throat and just, you know, allow them all to, you know, get, get the recap of everything. But I'll check back in with you guys. I'm actually headed home. I just feel like I gotta be alone a little bit and just kind of, you know, regather myself. But I'll see you guys in a bit once I get back and by then uh, she should be out of surgery so we'll see how she's feeling so thank you guys for the support and for all the support you guys have been sending her as well so thank you guys so much and I'll catch you guys in a little bit peace all right guys so I'm currently driving back to the hospital um, I had to came home because I didn't want to wait there for you know six hours or over um, by myself plus like as soon as I walked out of the hospital I kind of had a little meltdown, but I'm on my way now. Um, sorry. As I was home, uh, one of the nurses I was assisting within the surgery, she was calling me every two hours to notify me how things were going. Um, so far, she has called me twice, which was the beginning of the surgery at about 10.30. And then she called me right at 12.30 to let me know that um, they were about 50% done with the procedure and she was doing very well. So, um, I'm just gonna shoot my shot and start heading over there. Um, I'd rather be there, you know, half an hour earlier than later and just be prepared to um, get her a little recap from the doctor and hopefully I get to see her really soon. So I'll show you guys once I'm in there and then hopefully everything goes well. Peace. All right guys, so I officially made it back into the room, which is I believe the ICU room that they brought her in after the surgery. Um, I think I didn't see her since this morning at about, I think she left at 8.45ish around there. But I am currently get to see her now. She's a little, still, I mean a little, a lot of... You saw me in the other room. Huh? You saw me in the other room. Huh? You saw me Well, yeah, but that was like 15 minutes ago. Tell about how much you how much. So, um, I did. I did that on the way over here, so recap again, guys. It was 99% removed, which is really, really good. So it was a pretty good successful um, surgery. Obviously right now, her coming down out of all the meds and obviously freshly out of a surgery. Um, she, in a lot of pain. She's in a lot of pain, which um, I'm hoping they can control right now in a little bit. But other than that, Mom, um, at least my head is not big. Yeah, she said at least her head is not big, which is not. Um, like Jimmy Neutron. Like Jimmy Neutron. She has a little bit of a swelling, but it's not that crazy, which should go down within about a day or two. I believe that's what they said. But um, right now. Do you want to? All right, so she wants you guys to see her scar, which is, this is something is really personal and up close, but this is what we're dealing with, and this is where the process of the recovery comes into, so. Let's see. So, it's actually not too big, not too small, and it's right behind the ear, so it actually covers if her hair were to be down, so she wouldn't have a problem there. But like she said, she has options for extensions. <laughs> that was her bright idea to it, so it's kind of good that she's in a good if you, spirit. If you guys see me, Wear extensions, mind your business. She said, if y'all see her wearing extensions, mind your business. <laughs> so, at least she's in a good spirit now. But, um, yeah, guys, so right now, she'll just get some meds to help her get through it. And, um... For we'll, this freaking pain. For this freaking pain. 
but she did talk to her family already which is great um so that she'll all be here visiting her tomorrow the so cool thing, my doctor the cool thing about her doctor is he was really nice enough so to do uh, a prayer for us too and for her mainly before the surgery so um shout out to him for being you Thank know you so such a great doctor and and just very understanding throughout the whole situation but we'll catch you guys tomorrow to see how she's feeling and yeah keep supporting guys and keep showing your love like you have to her and we'll get through it right yeah <laughs> so what is up guys it's day two and as you can see baby girl is feeling a little bit better she was hungry I, apparently the food that they gave her here wasn't that they great like egg for like a baby i didn't like it yeah i didn't like that great so i brought her some food she was able to drink her favorite coffee so i went downstairs and got her that so now i'm just gonna do a quick attempt of doing a braid on her hair because her hair is like i'm swollen i have the uh, swollen everywhere like so it hurt and then they i think in surgery they try to do a braid on me to keep my hair away from the cut and she nodded my hair at least she tried so that's probably what i'm gonna do too but i'm gonna give it a shot so let's do a quick fast forward on it fast tutorial let's go I want to show her right now, hold on. Let me find out. You taught me last time. Yeah. <laughs> I know. I'm done. Let me just try it up. Yeah. Okay. This is how it looks like, guys. Not too shabby, not too shabby. But yeah, so she is feeling a little bit better. Um, obviously, still pain and stuff. I couldn't sleep. I'm running out like an hour. I had an MRI done at 3 a.m. last night. I had an MRI just to make sure that they uh, everything's good. My doctor wanted it. Uh, it's kind of dark. My doctor wanted another MRI after surgery, so. Um, they did that at 3 a.m. They sedated me, as you guys know, I like that. <laughs> <laughs> and then um, I just been watching TV. I haven't been able to sleep. It's a funny story. They brought me coffee in the morning for breakfast, and there was three little packets. One was pepper, one was salt, and one was sugar. I put all three packets in my coffee, <laughs> <laughs> and I am a little swollen on this side, like all throughout here. So my side right here is gonna droop a little bit until it swell. It's not swelling anymore. But we will keep updating you guys on everything. So far, I'm just glad to be here. I'm glad it went good. Last night I couldn't sleep. I was, the pain was bad, super bad. Today I feel so much better. Last night they had me like on monitors everywhere in my legs, connected to everywhere. I had to pee every hour. And I felt so bad because the night shift nurse kept coming in every hour and disconnecting me. But today I only have a few connected, which I'm able to disconnect myself now. And I'll be moving downstairs today. I want to show you guys my goodie bag. You want to? Yeah. All right, I'm going to sit you guys down for a little bit. Leslie got me a goodie bag. I'm show y'all. But yeah, guys. Oh, I look so rough. <laughs> Leslie got me this. I'm gonna tell her and see. So I went to um, Target. Target because I had to go around for some food because I had to eat nothing yesterday. So I just stopped to get a couple things because they didn't have a lot of things. But this is really cool. So the lady actually put the um, gift card in there. And I actually got a Halloween gift card. Oh, that's cute. Yeah, so. And she got me a Halloween bag. We love Halloween. And then 
I know she can't eat a lot of stuff right now, right now. So I just got a small little goldfish. Rainbow. Um, some air hands. Those are my spices. favorite. Okay. And then I got her a little. That's hand cute. Sanitizer. It actually smells really good. Do you realize, like, now since COVID, like, everybody has sanitizer, but before That's nobody me, so I had. people hand sanitizer? Yeah. Um, I know that it's cold in here. So I love so those. The dinosaur with the. Check out those. So cute. And then, um, and then I got her a Because I'm Mexican. And then I got her a card. Yeah, and the, the card, card no the card is personal. Okay, but the card says you are my favorite favorite. So it's actually really cute. Maybe I'll read it later. Okay. But that's uh, for me. Oh and a chapstick, but yeah. she got me chapstick but she opened she it. That yesterday. Yeah, my lips were so dry. They was like cracked feet. <laughs> But yeah, that's what she got me. She's been a really good sport. She's bringing me food and taking care of me. Um, we want to thank everyone <coughs> who has been reaching out to us and sending us messages. Um, it's really hard for me to get on my phone right now. So I'm literally just updating you guys. But Leslie's been trying to get back to everyone. So she'll... So yeah guys, I have a bunch of messages from everybody. I was actually, I actually just got a chance to read some of them to her today because yesterday she was still kind of drowsy in and out. So she probably wasn't going to remember. I'll probably see them on Monday. Yeah, so she'll probably start scrolling through them like comes Monday, Tuesday, and the rest of the week while she's home. Um, yeah, right now it's more of a, a family just updating everybody and stuff. But just know that all of you guys' concern and love does not go unnoticed. But yeah, we'll check in with you guys once we move down to a different room and then hopefully we'll be able to know more of an estimate of how long we'll be staying here and then our trip back home. Bye.